All right, guys, welcome back. Due to the fact that YouTube don't like channels having fun listening to music. No, these robots are good. They pick up anything. All right, we can't listen to the radio because YouTube don't want us to have fun. You what? You listen to music? Mm -mm, no, uh -uh, no, oh, no. You can't do that on YouTube land. Nope. I'm pretty sure the music will make the game even more better. I'm not saying this game. This game got some issues, though. It's not a bad game. If it worked right, there's some issues. There's some issues I have with the game. There's a lot of stage lockout bug glitches that I have to find a, a way around to, like, progress to the next stage, which is not cool at all. If you pay for a game, you expect it to work. But there's some issues with the game. But just say the game was like it's like good none buggy condition. This is I would recommend this game. Right now is a day one. No, no answer. Right now is a day one of September first as I'm recording this. I mean, I guess say just buy it at your own risk. That's all I'm gonna say. Buy it at your own risk. But overall it's not a bad game to be honest, so just just fix the bugs. Once the developers fix the bugs, I'm like, yeah, yeah, go ahead and get it. The mail truck got a turbo, got a supercharger. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. <laughs> I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. 
Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. No, throw this in the... Can you throw this in the back, please? No, it. Let me see this. This is not the right package. Hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. <laughs> what? It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Ouch. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Really? How'd you deal with it? <laughs> I came here. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Wow, pretty cool perk. It is, isn't it? So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye.
Ooh, interesting. Stupid sign! <laughs> I forgot I have to obey the road rules. Oh, let's get out. Here's your mail. Oh, I gotta dr you mean I gotta drive to it like a normal person? It's right around the corner? All right, whatever. Why is it just like some points like it'll drop? Let me see this. I'll just. Hey, hey, that's a federal crime. You just hit my car. <laughs> that's a federal crime.
I remember a dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. Hi, sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. Still enjoying life off the grid? Sure am. Although, Mickey had a rough night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Did you grow tired of the lake already? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two, you know. And talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Gee, I don't know, June. June? Oh, please, sweet Meredith. I gotta run now. Be here Wednesday after sundown. <laughs> I like this how somebody gave... I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm not saying I really like it, but I just find it so many... I'm so like... I don't know I can't I talk right now. I find it the irony of some of these games. That some of these games give you like... The yes or no choices, but they always end up being like, yes, you're going to do it anyway. So, you say, hey, you want to go for, you want to go skinny dipping? The choice is, sure, I do. Other choice. No, I don't think that's a good idea. You choose, no, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, come on, man. It's going to be fun. Meet me here Friday night, 12 a.m., and we're going skinny dipping. All right, I'll be there. Like, what? What? <laughs> just, just. <laughs> Just go along with the dialogue. That makes no sense. <laughs> I wish developers would stop doing stuff like that. Stop making a story like that. It doesn't make sense. I mean, you can, but just, you know, don't do dialogue where it's, it's, it's basically yes, yes, or no, no, whatever you choose. So... Excuse me, what's this all about? <laughs> it's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. I appreciate you actually do your job. Oh, there you go, there you go. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Are you sure you're not just playing a game? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the mail. Bye. See, God, we don't have camera phones because I would have recorded them. 
He would have lost his job. <laughs> I would have got him fired. <laughs> he would have got fired. Almost missed a turn. I'm not home. Hello? How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. It was a normal day? Nothing special. Okay. Your mom and I are waiting for the hotel bar to open. Thought we'd check in on you. Living it up, huh? Are you boozing every evening? <laughs> Easy now. It's just a nice convenience. We found a payphone at this bar. Oh, Mom's poking me. I guess she's mad. I blew her cover. Here she comes. Hey, Meredith. Don't listen to Dad. We will only have one or two drinks. Hi, Mom. It's okay, Mom. I like a drink every now and then as well. Alcohol is fine, but I'm changing the subject. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. What a jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh, honey, that's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. Do you miss Providence Oaks? No, oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. No, oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama slammers! Cheers! This is fun! It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? My pick? All right, let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. All right, I'm ready to pick. Blue Velvet. Good choice. This is going to be... interesting. <laughs> I
I mean, I'm kind of speechless. And that's rare for me. It certainly was something. I loved it. And I never want to see it ever again. <laughs> yeah, that about covers it. It's certainly singular. At one point, I did begin to wonder, do you think Providence Oaks has a seedy underbelly? Don't think so. Haven't found any ears lying around during my rounds. <laughs> well, give it time. So anyway, my parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Yeah, let's move! I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. What, computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. Next time is a little presumptuous, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. So, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. I think we know what that creepy Frank Booth character would be thinking right about now. Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Sure, Frank. What's up? That Walter Morgan guy, uh, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? <laughs> They're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Alright guys, I'm out of this video, so y'all holler me, man. We're gonna get through this.